YouTube what's going on guys your boy Jaden Paradox Customs bring you a quick settings guide in order for you guys to play Starfield at the best possible settings making the game feel as good as possible especially on those lower end PCs a lot of us have kind of been struggling especially early on in the game so we're going to go ahead and go through some settings that are going to make the game feel as smooth as possible like many of you i'm sure i've been having an absolute blast playing this game but the one thing i was encountering was the game not feeling as smooth as i would have liked so this video is going to be really quick to the point showing you the best settings that i'd recommend you guys use as well as kind of just making the game feel as good as possible so that you guys don't have any hitching any performance issues or stuff like that if you guys haven't already checked it out down below we have a video showcasing our benchmark on a really really high-end system so that link's going to be down below in the description and if after this video you feel like you're still lagging and your pc maybe isn't just up to par with the game i'm going to link down below our optimization service which is 80 dollars usd essentially you can go ahead and get one of our techs to optimize your pc for 80 bucks and it's going to be overclocked and feeling as good as ever with that being said let's hop right into the settings all right guys here we are in starfield and we're going to go ahead and hit our settings and obviously the only thing we're going to really be changing here is display settings so let's kind of get right into it to start we're gonna have borderless full screen on obviously we want both uh, full screen mode on the correct monitor i'm playing on a 1440p monitor um dynamic resolution is going to be on with the render resolution scale at 75 percent we're going to go custom graphics obviously because we don't want to do everything too low or too high we don't want the game to look awful but we want it to feel smooth so we're going to go medium shadow quality and then high indirect lighting medium reflections and low particle quality and we're going to go medium medium motion blur is going to be off it just looks makes the game look janky and then we're going to do quality of grass and gtao on high with medium contact shadows v-sync off obviously with our upscaling to fsr2 uh, our sharpening is going to be at 70 percent we're going to leave that at 70 percent and then we're going to enable vrs with film grain again off making it look really bad and our depth of field will be on that's all the settings i got for starfield in game now we can go ahead and take a look at some nvidia settings that we have and kind of go from there all right and really quickly as we do in all of our videos we're going to go ahead and go through our nvidia control panel really quickly now nothing's changed if you watch any of our other videos but it's worth noting that there might be a new audience and it'd be kind of annoying for us to go ahead and tell you to watch an old video so we're in the obviously nvidia control panel we're going to go to 3d settings manage 3d settings and these are kind of what we have and what we recommend you guys have so we're going to go start with off 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 i don't want to touch too much of this but essentially just scroll down this list some notes most of it is off on the front page except for the gamma correction we're gonna have on everything else pretty basic we're gonna want to have fixed refresh rate on the monitor technology we're gonna want to have our graphics card on the rendering gpu obviously um power management mode is going to be preferred maximum performance um texture filter quality is going to be high performance so again go through this slowly if you guys need to take some pauses as i scroll through these and that's pretty much it for the managed 3d settings now configure surround I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure we have our graphics card selected and that's pretty much it there and lastly but not least we're gonna go ahead and change our adjust desktop settings and size now most people have this on no scaling the only reason I have it on full screen is because I play counter-strike and I play stretched resolution so that's that and we just want to make sure our monitor refresh rates on 144 that's pretty much it for the control panel what stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage tried to recruit you right away. He had me. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you don't do in war. One, you don't mess with Bailey's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. But you understand. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video please do not leave without leaving a like comment and subscribing if you guys found this helpful at all please share it with your friends and we will see you in the next video peace